Let's continue. Shona has on up next the sterling silver. This is the green amethyst pendant and chain available today at $169.99. This is a 10 by 14 teardrop green amethyst that's faceted, bezel set. It's four carats, 38. And your average gram weight of sterling silver here is 9.9 .9 grams. So green amethyst. This is also known as preciolite. It's a uh, gemstone that has a long, long history. And it's only been in the past several years we've been able to get these large pieces. You're looking at almost four and a half carats in this beautiful gemstone. And uh, you can see again, we were talking about the spiral motif that we use so often in the jewelry because it, you know, it, it appears in traditional cultures around the world, but particularly in the, in the cultures of uh, the Indian subcontinent and the Himalayas, you see the, uh, the, the spiral used as a meditation aid, as a, as a way of focusing the mind and representing the, you know, the, the nature of the universe. It has no beginning and no end. So when you are, uh, when you are traveling and you are working, it, do the workers take time out to meditate, or is there anything that they do in the day that would be different you know, from here, say, for instance? Well, it's a funny thing. You know, it's really, there is no separation between their religion and daily life for, right. you know, most of these people, because they, it's a living religion that they're part right. of. You know, all in their workshops, there's pictures of the gods and goddesses, depending on whether they're Hindus or, or Buddhists. You know, there's statues. And, you know, there really is that innate quality where they're, you know, where it's not, you know, you'll go to church on Sunday, for example, right. or go to the temple. Um, you know, it's really something that they do. They, they just live it on an ongoing basis. Family and religion are just so intertwined with everything that they do. And, you know, very often when I'm with uh, people and we're, you know, going from one place to another, we just stop off at a temple on the way there. And, uh, you know, and it's or in the one of our wonderful jewelers in uh, Jaipur that I was just with, I went back to his house and one of his rooms, because there was a major festival on, they turned one whole room into a uh, shrine room and they'd hired a priest to live there for nine days and do the rituals every day. So you come home from work and do your rituals and I got a blessing, of course. So like I said, it's really, you know, part of life entwined with everything else you do. That's, I think that's fabulous. It's, it is. It's, it's, you know, they live their religion. That's. I love that. This is another amazing piece with the green amethyst. And I was thinking, and I know birthstones today, we don't necessarily shop for our birthstone, but if you are thinking, okay, you know, amethyst purple, that's not my favorite color. Here is the preziolite. Uh, so it's green amethyst and it's a minty green. It's a beautiful shade. Uh, I like the, it's almost like a, the crescent moon. The crescent moon. moon, which is one, one of the reasons, you know, the moon has always been a big part of uh, the Himalayan gems uh, symbolism is because there's that direct correlation between silver, the feminine principle, and the moon. The moon always thought of being as feminine, of course. And so, you know, the crescent moon being one of those classic, beautiful shapes, you see it appearing over and over again in our work. And you also see it in the flag of Nepal as well. Uh, along with the sun. So it's, you know, it's an image that we love and uh, that, uh, you know, our collectors have responded very positively to over the, the years as well. But, you know, the eye just keeps coming back to that beautiful piece of green amethyst. Look at the sparkle. The light that. that comes from within with this quality of gemstone, it's not just the surface, you know, where you see the, st the color bouncing off the surface. You can see that light emanating from within the stone, the glow of the stone, the luster of the gemstone. That is a beautiful gemstone. It's like a, a soft mint green. Again, everyone, available today, it's a 10 by 14, an inch and one eighth, uh, pardon me, it's an inch and three quarters in length, an inch and one eighth in width, includes the Italian Venetian box chain with the spring ring closure. And we have this on the five interest free payments of $34 today. I feel like in this two hour uh, show, we have seen so many different beautiful gemstones and styles. And I hope that you're treating yourself or thinking ahead to various gift giving times that you may have coming up. We have a dozen remaining of this beautiful piece. And again, all handcrafted. You know, it's funny because I read handcrafted. I say handcrafted, but when you really think about using your hands to make these pieces, each and every one, it is truly remarkable. 443-159. And by the way, the bale is also embellished and it moves. I love that when the bale moves and you've got further articulation within a piece.